Welcome to another episode of Once Human. Last time I went to talk to Maxi about Brenna, but now I'm off to tell Lo that our dragon is with us and can cook all the delicious dishes he wants. Look a little Chefosaurus Rex that's cooking wildly. It seems to be going a little overboard. Ah, fascinating little thing, isn't it? Not too menacing, as long as you know how to take care of it. You must have created quite the meal for it. I think its bark is louder than its standards, to be honest. Once again, I am impressed. It seems no deviation is too much of a challenge for you. As you may have guessed, your payment is the dragon itself. A marvelous deviation. You are free to contain in your territory. I'm sure it will benefit you greatly. I will throw in some additional compensation to cover your containment obligations. We are partners, after all. And I do like to know these deviations are being well cared for. Okay, my friend always knows how to make me change my mind about the deviations. But now let's set off on the journey to finish the last missions in the area. Okay, I was thinking of meeting Mary, who surely has something to tell me about the new cities I haven't visited yet. I'm sure some really interesting adventures are waiting. But for now, let's focus here and see if we find anything interesting since these remote areas far from the cities sometimes hide real treasures. This time, there wasn't any great treasure hidden here, so let's move on. Hey, wait, there's someone over there. Let's hear what they have to say. Ma'am, you okay? Of course. We need to save some kids. Let's go before any monsters or bad guys hurt them. We can also go this way, so we can finish exploring the cities that are in between my objectives. This is the town we didn't explore when we were going to get our chef. Here we find the first weapon chest and also a page from the field guide titled Good Kids. Let's continue our search for the lost kids. I could have used a camp to craft some ammo, but I don't have the materials with me right now, so let's go straight to face the beast inside that cage. Wow, it took half my health with one hit? That's really strong. I thought I'd take it down easily, but I was way off. But it's okay. We'll take it down calmly and carefully. Got the Mega Monster down and reached level 25. I'd say I've earned this nice chest, don't you think? Oops, I forgot the pills for monster pain. I wanted to get rid of this gray bar to have more health and ensure I don't die randomly. On the last chest inside, we can find another field guide page titled Graduation Day.
Inside here, we found another page titled Too Hasty. All right, let's head to the mission point and see what it has to say. It looks like we need to go on a treasure hunt collecting various clues to get a final password. I'm up for it. It seems really fun. Let's go. Let's read the clue. Probably the nine is one of the numbers we need. Oh, they're saying it's the third number. Here it's really easy because they tell us that the second number is 8, so 89 are among the other two missing numbers. Perfect, let's go. Wow, how many enemies were there? I thought I was going to die again, as if the giant monster wasn't enough. They were everywhere on the map. Absolutely crazy. Sometimes my aim just stops working. I'm not sure why. And here we have another field guide page titled, Almost Out of Hope. And here, in this room, we find another one titled Beast or Human. Oh no, what bad luck! Who saw that landmine? I really don't like wasting syringes like this. Now we'll take a long tour around the city to make sure we've scoured all the houses and streets. Everything is useful, and we're on the lookout for materials, even though the loot doesn't seem great here. But we'll make do, especially since we're doing this to save all those poor kids whom I haven't seen until now. Okay, we've collected everything from all the houses. Now, let's make sure to find the kids near the school. This clue seems to indicate the location of the chest. We were supposed to start here, but I decided to explore the city and its wonders. Now let's go and enter the password. Damn, enemies respawned right in front of me. I haven't climbed up here yet because I said I'd do it later, so now it's time to go up and see what awaits us. A nice good weapon chest. And here we have a nice mystical crate. 
so close together, just how I like these chests. We also found a field guide page titled Sunbury Middle School. Mission located. Let's enter our code, which is 5897. Beautiful tattered letter. How nice, we won the treasure hunt, but it's just the first one. There will definitely be many more to come. Let's go back to the girl and let her know that the kids aren't here. From that side, I spotted a beautiful deviation. And guess what? You can find the beaver here. Let the wood come to us. Here we have a girl who sells fishing gear. Very interesting. Shall we steal some vegetables? What do you think? I'd say it's a great idea. Plus, seeds are always useful, especially corn. It's needed for making half of the things. Let's see what this girl has to say. I haven't had much conversation with the various NPCs, except for accepting missions or for the game's overall story. Is this all local produce? Have you always lived in this shelters? Okay, that was interesting. Let's see if anyone else has something to say. Let's try talking to him as well. Did you make these bullets yourself? Tell me a bit about this place. Now let's go deliver the quest for the kids. We need to talk to Maxie again. Will she say the kids are dead? And where has the girl disappeared to? Ask about Kia Armas. I met a woman named Kia Armas. So that photo I saw on the wall was you? That's incredible. She was a ghost seeking peace. Now I need to head back to my place since I'm almost full of items and have other tasks to take care of. Here we are at home. Now we need to replace the space turner with the beaver. So let's remove this and insert the beaver. Successfully deposited. Now let's see what it prefers and what its stats are. Let's place a nice terrarium behind it. 
And now let's put something in it so it's not empty. I assume the bonus works only thanks to the plants inside. So come to me, corn. Perfect. We've put everything in. I can't wait for it to get to work and make lots of goodies. Let's check one last thing. Reaching level 25 allows us to add another override bonus. I'd say we should choose something that increases our damage output. Okay, I reviewed all the options and decided that Bounty Hunter is what I need the most right now. And that's it for today's video. I'll leave you with the final greetings. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like or comment, and remember to hit the bell icon for notifications on my videos.